This tutorial shows you how to customize result slides in iSpring QuizMaker. Result slides will appear to your users after they complete the quiz. They can contain feedback or further information. A graded quiz has two result slides, one for passing and one for failing. Surveys have one result slide for completing the survey. The result slides group is displayed at the end of the question list in the quiz editor. For each result slide, you can choose different options for information to show students after they finish the quiz. For example, you can allow passing students to review all their answers while hiding the correct answers from failing students. This option shows the score the user got, and this one shows the total passing score. The Finish button is a clear way to indicate to the student that the quiz is over and will simply close the window when pressed. For full details on the rest of these settings, see the tutorial, How Does a Student Review Results After a Test is Submitted? For a survey, only three of these options are available. The Finish button, the Review, and the Detailed Results. To open the result slide for editing, just select it in the list. The result slides are enabled by default but you can hide them if you want by unchecking this option. Result slides can be designed just like questions. Here you can add a picture, audio, or video, and you can go to the Slide View tab for more detailed design options. Here you can set a theme, format the background, edit text, and move objects around on the slide. This green check mark is a standard image for the passing result slide but you can also enrich the slide with multimedia as described before, or by inserting a character like this. Did you like this video? Give it a like, and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.